India's oldest toy shop is arguably a tribute to the potential of Sino-Indian trade ties. Nearly 60% of what's on the shelves here comes from China, but change is on the way. Last September, the government set new quality standards for all imported toys. The owner of the shop, Satish Sundra, is worried his next shipment may not comply, plus he'll also have to cover the cost of the inspections. The shipments come in, it'll go, go up by 5 to 6 percent. Please, no, no, I, I, I said it correctly, it'll go up by approximately about 10 percent. The new rules don't target any specific country, but Satish believes they were aimed at choking China's hold on the Indian market as parts of efforts to address the trade imbalance between the two countries. It's estimated Chinese toys account for about three quarters of India's $750 million toy industry. India has been pushing China for greater access to its markets for a while now in the hopes of reducing its $52 billion trade deficit with Beijing. But it's an imbalance the Chinese have been reluctant to address until now, apparently. As China's trade dispute with the US has deepened, Beijing's eyed greater economic cooperation with India. Facing unsteady and uncertain international situations, the two countries, as the two biggest developing countries and most important emerging markets, share a lot of common interests and concerns. India's growing middle class is another factor motivating China. So it's, we are not looking at it today, you look at it in the next decade, next decades, you see. So definitely they would like uh, access to the um, uh, Indian markets and they find that in certain areas they get kind of frozen out uh, because of this lack of trust, uh, security issues. So they would definitely like to negotiate their way in. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is scheduled to visit China in June for the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit. Both sides need time to focus on resetting relations, something businessmen like Satish hope will materialize. Any good relationship with any country is good for business. It's a two-way traffic. If it's good for me, it's good for you. It can't be just one-sided. And the stakes are also high for Narendra Modi, who needs to demonstrate leadership on foreign policy ahead of next year's general elections. Neha Punia, TRT World, New Delhi.